Calagra market our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USD INR. In the next 10 or 15 minutes what we will do is we will look at Nifty charts, we will look at Bank Nifty charts, we will look at USD INR charts. We will also look at open interest, FII data and we will try to form an informed opinion on what the market is likely to do tomorrow. We will also make a few uh, reasonable uh, suggestions on what are the kind of trades you can do. Uh, so this is what we do on that note let's get started with our analysis in earnest so in case you are a regular listener i am sounding a little terse today because uh, i'm trying to see if we can compress this and make it very crisp within 15 minutes right so first of all we look at uh nifty charts hi subramaniam hi you're the first one in today uh and uh, okay so nifty <laughs> very interesting so let's look at what we talked about yesterday so our analysis has always been constant until 15900 breaks there is no long unless 15900 breaks on the short side there is no uh, clear short trader but i'm going to change this today you know as of today i am bearish i am not going to wait for 15700 to break i'm going to yolo and uh, short here and i'll tell you why now the first what is this what is this time what is time oh taking sorry so sorry <laughs> that's a typo so uh, if you look at nifty chart there are a few things which emerge very clearly one we had drawn a horizontal support somewhere around 15900 odd levels which connected a consolidation zone of nifty somewhere in 2021 mid right this is the biggest consolidation zone of nifty in quite a while now the catch is nifty has always tried to break out of it today it gave a fake out if today's breakout had sustained i would have been very different about nifty's chances of going it's probably skyrocketing to 16000 plus 16200 being the first stop etc but today's price action has made a few things very clear first of all <coughs> if you connect this right there is a sort of a trend line clearly coming here now this trend line was not confirmed yesterday but today's rejection confirms this trend line and now this is going to be a zone of resistance for nifty right also, Nifty could not sustain above this break of 5900 which we have been watching for some time, right? So today's open was somewhere near that. It tried to go and create a top. It could not sustain, so it came back, right? So Nifty is not sustaining above 5900, that is very clear. Nifty has also taken downward resistance from this trend line channel, that is also very clear, right? Um, so these two things are convincing me that this is a scary market we are in in fact i mean i i i i, I shot it somewhere <coughs> around 15 800 zones <coughs> so i mean i added to my you know already running portfolio of a lot of shots of december etc with some 15 600 put yesterday that really bled out this morning i didn't square off so luckily now it's back to you know where i entered or so so but now i'm pretty much so i'm eventually planning to taper off my portfolio and uh, <clears throat> somewhere around uh, 14,000 or something if it comes. So right now, uh, I didn't add any more shots, but I'm holding all shots. I didn't square off at the break of 5,900 today for the simple reason that... So I'll tell you why I did not square my shots despite the break above 5,900, what seemed like a break above. One, it was not daily closing, right? Like it was not convincing break simply because it did not give a daily closing. And there's another reason why I'll uh, tell you why I think uh, it was not making sense to close the shorts today and that is Bank Nifty. But before we get ahead of ourselves, uh, let's see what Bank Nifty daily chart did. So last week, we, if you had watched this, you might have uh, remembered that if Bank Nifty breaks above 33,600, there is an upside all the way to 34,400. We had talked about it. We even talked yesterday that Bank Nifty looks strong. Uh, I think we had mentioned that, right? Uh, yeah, Bank Nifty looks strong. Bank Nifty can carry Nifty. It was, it was what we said yesterday. Now, the fun thing is, I realized that Bank Nifty is taking a resistance at a level, which is the confluence of 50 DMA and this horizontal zone I have drawn. This is a strong resistance level. Now, it was not very clear till today, but today the rejection at 50 DMA convinced me that there's a lot of selling going to happen here right so bank nifty did the target of 34 400 
I mean, somewhere near that 34, 300 plus, it, it's never precise, right? It's always zone. Touch the FDMA, took the uh, downward route again. So these two are kind of convincing me that, okay, maybe this is where it ends. And now it can go quite a bit down, right? The ferocity with which today we saw rejection is very telling that Nifty is going to struggle for multiple reasons. This horizontal support, this trend line, this zone, which is a gap and it's a gap always acts like a, a resistance, right? And it's not easy to go into gaps. So right now it seems like it's difficult to find, it's difficult for Nifty to fill this thing. The gap is, I mean, it's not a very nice gap. I mean, I would have loved it if it was a little lower, but but Nifty is struggling. So Nifty, Bank Nifty, everything looks bad. And of course, dollar um, dollar has just shot up. So yesterday also we were talking about, it's really frustrating to hold on to dollar but because we don't know when the break will happen. I think I jinxed it. The moment I said yesterday that, yeah, breakout to ana ye kab aega pata nahi. Uh, it just broke out, right? And to be honest, I had a call spread of uh, 78, 25, 79. Yesterday evening, I closed. Uh, you know, my luck, right? It had to go up half a percent today. So I didn't make... So it, the max profit on that spread was somewhere around 90k. I made probably around, you know, a third of that. Uh, I mean, it was a small position with some 180 large types. Uh, and then I thought I'll quit and it, it, it just had to go up. No, half a percent today. But anyway, the, I mean, that's just uh, me getting frustrated about no movement coming and giving up, right? But probably it was a bad trade to have given up because I had conviction that it would go and it was positive theta trade. I don't know why I did it. This is called neuroticism. But all charts, right? I mean, the greater point was that, I mean, that is... Uh, right index pe, right view pe galat trade karna. Like I've been talking about dollar long, dollar long, dollar long since God knows when. Uh, and in all fairness, I was long between 75 and, uh, you know, to yesterday, but uh, I gave up because of neuroticism and psh, I'm toast, toasted. But but uh, my point is not my trade. My point is that Nifty, Bank Nifty, Dollar, everything looks horrendous. And here's my point, right? I really think we are entering into something very extraordinary, right? And we have been having this sense, right? Because we've always been talking about this is not... Uh, uh, I mean, I was just reading the, the comments. I mean, we know for a fact that this is not something which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, a small dip. We always said that this is going to be a great correction. We always thought that there is something really deep going on. And uh, I don't think we are even seeing... I, I, don't, I don't think this is the bottom. I don't think this is anywhere near the bottom. I think something big is going to hit us. I don't know what it is, but you know, I've been saying since 1800s, kuch bada hai, bada hai, bada hai. I mean, maybe boy who cried the wolf, maybe if somebody is always bearish at some point, he is right. But I think this is, this is got to be major, right? So uh, now, uh, next is uh, Bank Nifty. Uh, sorry, next is uh, open interest charts. Now, in open interest charts, extremely interesting action today. If you look at today morning's open interest, and I'll show you show it to you in the multi strike OI progression, right? The morning started like this, you know, a spike in puts. But towards the second half, my God, how it came crashing was telling, right? The puts came crashing, the calls pretty much stayed where it is. So, and this is across the board, right? Even 15,900 put, you can see a sharp correction. 15,700 put also fell. Now, this is what makes it scary. So, if you looked at open interest charts two days back, there was significant support at 15,700. Now, that is gone. There is no 15,700 support anymore. Now, this is a free fall. This is going to be a field for shorters to short. There's nothing which is going to prevent a fall in Nifty now, unlike yesterday when there was a 6 million put OI which was significant compared to the rest of it and a PCR of 1.1 but today there is nothing nobody is going to arrest the fall of nifty if a fall happens and you can see how the calls have become comparable here PCR is 0 0.8 it looks bad so chart looks bad option chain looks bad PCR looks bad so with some hope 
if you're looking at, uh, I mean, no, nobody in this uh, uh, satsang has hope, right? Everybody is anyway bearish. So, what does it matter? With some optimism, if you're looking at FIA data, that will fall tomorrow. Of course, FIA data is a different story. Uh, 3.5 times puts as calls. That is 1.8 alone on puts. 53k on calls. Huge difference between fifth uh, July uh, calls and puts. Uh, and of course, uh, lots of calls sold at twenty three thousand uh, uh, calls and twelve thousand puts sold. So, so option wise, it is very bad. Now, here's an interesting part. Now, index futures might look like FI has gone long. That is not true because if you look at it, right, the future OI actually dropped around five hundred crores. So, yesterday and day before, when index was going down. Sorry, going up, it might have looked like FI has sold, but the truth is, this is the rele relevant number. You can see OI has gone up these days, but OI reduced today despite the future purchase. Again, I don't know why this happens. It is some adjustment to do with the way NSE ex accounts for open interest, but this is the real number. FI future OI has dipped, no questions asked, and that is going to trigger further bearishness. That is, they are not as long on India as they were, let's say, on 28 June, right? Six, from sixteen thousand crores in OI, we have come down to thirteen thousand crores in OI. That is very significant, right? So everything looks bad. The only interesting thing is twelve hundred crores of stocks were bought, and I have no idea what stocks are these things which were bought. So my verdict is simple. Now I am. So I was always looking for a sell on uptick. I think this is the uptick which I think I would want to sell on. So uh, market looks. Scary, absolutely no longs. Sell on any uptick. Fifteen seven hundred might not be a support anymore, right? And trades are always short trades. That is call short, uh, bear put spreads of. Maybe 14th July because it gives you more time to play it, right? If you put 7th July bear put spread, you have to be right within two days. 14th July bear put spread is better, and I'll explain why. Uh, short futures is risky, but futures short with tight stop loss, why not? Now here's an important thing. From the looks of it, right? Tomorrow is going to be a gap down, right? But we never know because uh, Satish is asking tomorrow gap up or gap down. Yet tomorrow, to uh, <laughs> Manish is saying under short in index and short long in USD. You know, half of it, I I did it. You know, I I really really hate the fact that I got out of USD INR yesterday, but it's okay. It's, it just happens, right? So let's look, just look at F S G X Nifty. It is trading below fifteen seven hundred. I'm not like it always has to happen. But this is significant, right? And also, if you look at overall global markets, it's all bleeding. There is some kind of an oil shock happening, and uh, yeah, the possibility of a full-blown uh, oil crisis is very real here, right? So, agar even if market has to go long, it's not going to be an easy long. If market has to go short, it will be an easy short. In the sense that, agar apko long marna hi hai, you can wait to go long. You can afford to wait to enter your portfolio, build your portfolio, etc. But at this point, right, the downside risks are so much more than upside risks, right? So obviously, uh, at this point, it doesn't make sense to be long on anything. It doesn't make sense to touch any long instrument, even with a six-foot pole. Uh, so uh, my my uh, final verdict would be: it is. I think risk has come back into the market. Uh, the good news is that. Uh, if you exited all your uh, shorts at fifteen two hundred, now we have a chance to sell again. Maybe there is much more upside left. Please don't do one thing, which is to predict the bottom. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, this is a this is just like a, a lot of you did ride the trend all the way to eighteen five hundred. Perhaps uh, maybe it is not a bad idea to ride the trend till wherever the market goes. Now nobody. Knows whether it will be fourteen thousand or thirteen thousand or twelve thousand. The point is, we have to stay short till the market tells us to go long, right? So this is our read for today. Uh, so I'm 
I don't know how many how much time it took, but I'm hoping it didn't take. Okay, it's 15 minutes only. So we'll uh, cut this at this point because we are trying to do a 15 minute because apparently YouTube says it popularizes the thing, and I think we should put some effort into popularizing this. So this is our analysis for today. This is not trade recommendations or advice or any of that stuff. This is just analysis so that uh, we can do some reasonably risk adjusted risk management self study and manage our risks according to the market view we make right so on that note i'll take your leave for today we'll see you again tomorrow and once again i i have to say one thing i'm so sorry i just just one thing let me just make sure this is right so i i have a lot of thanks to a lot of people for suggesting me a lot of medications for my allergic rhinitis Finally, I went with Sajeev. Sajeev, if you're watching this, thank you so much, man. So, Sajeev sent me a mail uh, <laughs> with a prescription um, for a couple of drugs. I went out yesterday after midnight, got them. I did what he asked me to do. And you can see that I, my, my nose thing has significantly improved. So, thank you, Sajeev, if you're watching this. So, on that note, I'll take your leave. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Till then, take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.